a death, a burial, and an empty tomb. Lord, we pray that you look at us this morning and you'd help us to see what you want us to see. And that our hearts would be filled with joy. Amen. Amen. Right, let's, let's see, see if this works for once. Yes, yes Simon? <laughs> there, there we go. go. Sometimes, Sometimes a few words can have a really significant difference. A few words have a really significant difference. This is Patrick Henry, who of course you all know if you're a historian. The year was 1775. And America is on the verge of a war of independence with Britain. And this man, a great orator, delivers us a powerful speech. And then in that, there is this phrase that became the battle cry of the Americans liberty or death. death. There are no words. A few a words, words, but the way it's significant is rather than the truth. But if we come from history to entertainment, I'm sure you all know what this is. is. The Apprentice. Eighteen contestants can compete in the lower sugars two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. He's willing to invest that much money in one person's business, business if they pass all the, all the tests. tests. And over the last four weeks, weeks had a television program hosting our journey. journey. And, and seventeen of those programs, programs here in the world, they don't, don't want, want to hear. hear. You're, You're fired. fired. It's just like everybody else. But then, but then in the final episode, episode and, the and the final minutes of that final episode, episode one, one of those 18 people, people that were the words, words they were the last here. 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 Here's the word here. 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 But how do they know that they were there for a few, few or for many, 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 they pay a lot of insignificance in, in comparison to the three words spoken, spoken on that, that first Easter Sunday. Sunday. Spoken, spoken by, by a stranger, stranger sitting, sitting on a rock, rock to a group of women. women. Three, three words, words that, that changed, changed the course, the course of history. history. Three words spoken, spoken about a man called Jesus of Nazareth, who for 36 hours earlier had been placed, placed in the rock tomb belonging to a man, man called Joseph, Joseph of Arimathea. What are the words? What are the words that change the course of history? What are the words that have great implications? Here's the words. He has risen. He is risen. risen. That, that's a word that's that changes change everything. everything. It, it really is, is a humanity or a death. death. That's the greatness of, of the truth of, of the society. If, if this is not real, real if, if Jesus, Jesus did not rise from the dead, dead then, then there's an equally global significance. Turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 in your Bibles. And let's see there how the Apostle Paul shows us just how significant it is whether or not Jesus has risen from the dead. One Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 42. Verse 13, my fault. If there is no resurrection of the dead, then the remains of Christ have been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is in vain, and your faith is in vain. We are even now in the midst of the resurrection of the dead, because we testify that God has been raised Christ, whom he did not be raised, it is true, that the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, then not even Christ has been raised. 
And then the third point is not that you are your faith is futile and you are still in your sins. Then the third point is that you are still in your sins. Then the third point is that you are still in your sins. If in Christ we have hope in this life only, we are the real people most to be pitied. So I want you to be able to work here. Just as they were able to be just read, I want you to read these things and maybe the person may make sure that's why you have to say, if I have not been raised, then what are the implications? If I have not been raised, what are the implications? Just one minute, I will go to the person next to you. Off you go. Off you go. Okay, okay, let's let's go back to Suzanne. Maybe just a few minutes. Can you shout out what's in the invitation? No, 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 we are the most to be pitied. It's that that's significant, isn't it? Isn't it? it, it really, really is a liberty, liberty or, or death. death. So as we so come back, back to Mark chapter 15, 16, what, what Mark, Mark wants, wants to do is to give us evidence. He's if you like, how many have been found for evidence to show that Jesus is really dead, secondly, that Jesus is really alive. And because of what we've just read in 1 Corinthians 15, it matters, doesn't it? It really, really doesn't matter, matter if, if this, this is true, true or if this is a myth and a legend. So let's come to Mark 15 and see some of the evidences that, that Mark gives, gives us. us. First of all, from verse 43 to 46 of Mark 15, Jesus is really dead. dead. We've got, got a familiar narrative here, here, haven't we? Joseph of Arabia, Arabia, you know, from the Jewish important person. Uh, 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 and so Pilate so convinced that Jesus is dead allows Joseph to take the body down, down from the cross. cross. Joseph so then takes the body and puts it in the tomb, in the tomb, the tomb that he had prepared himself, himself uh, for when, when he died. Wraps, wraps, wraps it in the room and, and places it in the, in the tomb, tomb and, and, and puts the stone across, across, across the entrance. entrance. Do you get, you get the point? Everyone is convinced Jesus has really died. died. It, really it really did, did happen. Back in 2005, the almost impossible, the almost miracle happened. And something that would have been the most, most hopeful person, person in the January of that year, year thought it would not have happened. Wales, Wales won the Grand, grand Slam. slam. In what we beat even in the first game. game. <laughs> <laughs> and then they listen. <laughs> Up until that, that time, 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 back in the 1970s, the world had a team that was even more worth putting on a piece of paper, 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 paper let alone like playing in the pitch. pitch. No one no believed really it could happen. happen. Yet, yet, victory after victory came our way. 
and it's not believe that the people who do it will prove it. And the results are highlighted by the people who are saying, did it really happen? Did the Royals really win the Grand Slam? Yes, my friend. Yes, it really happened. It's not best that I have the impression. But it's really true. Is, is Jesus, Jesus really the died? We've got one of the problems with the church, we've got a problem 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 with the church, we've got a uh, and particularly when you get to the language, 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 you know, you cross the center to the well, the start of the way you need to go, and you can get the sign. You go to the well, just so you can memory. And you go to the third of the well, maybe you see where you're saying you're holiday, and you go to the gift shop. You know, this is a rock and this is a slate from the museum, and you can see the new badges that you can buy. With the nice flag pointing in the English, and it says, Come memory. Come memory. Why do you need to wear a second memory? No, no, it's not. What is it? it? And why does it depend, depend on the grammatical context. context? It depends it on the word for it. It's, it's, it's really, really confusing. confusing. But what's not more confusing, and what we really need to understand, and even on the basis of grammar, are two things. Number one, Jesus was dead. Past tense. Jesus is, is alive, alive present, present and, and continuous. continuous. He, he was, was dead, dead, is alive. alive. And, and so, so what Mark now does, does, does is he gives the evidence to show, show exactly, exactly that, 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 that Jesus, Jesus is, is alive. alive. Come, Come and read Mark, Mark chapter 16, where we can see some of that. <laughs> Look at the verse 3, three which we'll start, start with. with. What's, What's the question, question that the, the women are asking? Who will rule the stone away? But I think they need to worry about that. Because, because when, when they, they get, get to the tomb, the stone will already be rolled away. But this, this was a rolled away by an individual or a group of people. Well, this is an act of divine power. God, God has rolled the stone away, away which is why an angel is sitting on top, top of the rock, rock with the man out of the house. God, God who broke into the world of creation by speaking. speaking. God, God who continued to break into the history again with the birth of his son Jesus has broken into his history once more by rolling away the stone. This is an act of great divine power. But equally, the women who come with their spouses, spouses to anoint the body of Jesus, well, they wouldn't really worry about, about that. They should have left their spouses at home. home. Because, because when, when they walk to the tomb and they find the stone they were away, not only did they know there was no baby there anymore, just the women that Jesus had been wrapped in. There's no need for the spices. Because that same divine power of the world of the stone has raised the corpse, a dead, a dead body, body to life, life. which, which is, is why there is nothing, nothing but an empty, empty cloth, cloth in that, that tomb. tomb. God, God has raised his son, son to, to prove beyond the millions of God that he is in the Lord, Lord of the universe. universe. And therefore, by my impatience, he is the Lord, Lord of, of you and, and I. I. 
But this but is a fair piece of evidence that, that Mark, Mark gives to show, show that Jesus is really alive. alive. Uh, and that's and that's many many women women that that got mentioned, mentioned in chapter 16. 16. Uh, uh, first thing they notice the list of the women, women that he writes. You know, you know uh, Mary, 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 Mother of Joseph, Joseph uh, Slay, Mary, Mary Magdalene. Mark is saying, look, here's these women, women, women who were there. there. They, they were there, there at the burial. And when they were in their own suit, if you really want to check out my story, story this is really, really real, real. Go, go and ask these ladies. ladies. They're, They're still there. there. You, can you can check it out for yourself. yourself. But then the second group is women as well. Notice it's their failure. Mark recorded their failure. Uh, let's, let's go through this story, story where they, they come, come in the beginning of chapter 16 with the spices and the anoint their body. But they, they shouldn't have done. If they, they truly heard, heard Jesus', Jesus words. words. Because, because this three times they read in the gospel, Mark has recorded Jesus, Jesus saying, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, 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 die as a ransom man, 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 but on the third day I'll rise again. He said, he said it time and time again, again that we might get, get point. point. But these but women clearly, clearly haven't, haven't got, got point. point. Hence, Hence them going, going to the, the tomb. tomb. Even, Even after, after the, the angel has spoken, spoken to, them, to them and, and said, said, he's not, not here. here, he's, he's risen. risen, he's gone he's ahead of them in the valley, just as, as he said. said. They still they don't get it. Because, because when they going, going back, back to Galilee and telling Peter and, and the disciples, they, they flee. They're, they're, they're bewildered. bewildered. They're, they're trembling. trembling. They, they haven't, haven't comprehended Jesus', Jesus words. words. Uh, now come, come out, out of it for a moment, moment and think, think why, why does Mark, Mark say that? that? Why, why did Mark, Mark call it a failure of these women, women as part of his account of Jesus being alive? Well, surely we can discuss that what happened. Mark, Mark is telling, telling us this, this is what, what happened. This is the truth. truth. If this, this is a really legend, if you think it really died, if you think it really died, you don't put that, that stuff in. in. Uh, you and may make, make a long point. Yes. It, it really did happen. happen. Jesus, Jesus is, is really alive. alive. Mark, Mark is telling us that Mark is telling us that this is what really happened. Jesus really died, died. He's He's seen seen really well, what, 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 Acts chapter, chapter 17. 17. Yeah, yeah. This, this is, is the Apostle Paul, Paul speaking, speaking to the, the, the Greeks Greek in Athens. Athens. And this, and this is, is what he says. He says, says it's not hard for them to live such a difference. But now my own people are everywhere to repent. For he has set the way when he has judged the world with justice. By the man he has appointed. He's given them proof of this to everyone by raising him from the dead. Now that, now that word, word judge, judge has, has so many negative connotations, connotations today, today, doesn't it? it? Well, not well, 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 the word. Don't judge me. me. We hear so often, don't, don't, don't we? But judgment, judgment is, is a good, good word. word. It, it, it means justice. justice. It, it means fairness. It means wrong and being put right. It means evil being dealt with. And we do want that, don't we? Because on the one hand, where we are around judgment, we are around justice in the world. world. When, when we see a great, great injustice, then we see a murder happening. happening. We, we say, say get, get a person who did it. it. Put them in prison for 25 years, we say. We, we, we want, want justice. We, we want evil to be dealt with. with. But equally, therefore, we need our own little evils to be dealt with as well. Because I'm going to be the more down to the best of the best of the best of the best of It's my own heart, isn't it? My own tendency is to run to the world my way, on my terms. God, 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 God,
greatest, greatest of all has, has to be punished. punished. If, if justice, justice is, is, is be done. done. And the great thing is, is that, that God, God is the good, good fair, just, just judge. judge. And what's, and what's the proof that he's given, given that he's going to judge each one, one of us and, us and judge all evil? It's the resurrection, resurrection isn't, isn't it? That's, that's what, what Paul, Paul is saying. saying. He's, he's proved, proved it. it. That's, that's why, why we need, need to clearly show that the resurrection, resurrection really happened. happened. But secondly, as well, the resurrection shows that Jesus is, is the saviour of, of the world. We can have, have this English assurance, assurance as well as that our sin is forgiven, given, that our rebellion is paid for. If, if Jesus, Jesus had just remained, remained dead, dead we may not have said that that was for sin, but, but, but what assurance would we have? have? We wouldn't. We wouldn't. We would kind of hope for the world, but, but, but not, but not confident. confident. But if, but if Jesus, Jesus has risen from the dead, we would have assurance that if we are trusting in him, him, our sin, sin has, has been, been paid, paid for. for. No, no if, no doubt, no it, it has, has been, been paid, paid for. for. It gives us some assurance. And, and Jesus is inviting each one of us today to have that assurance, to know the certain that our, that our sin has been paid for. And when we're in the invitation, we have, have to accept, accept it. So we so will accept that assurance. assurance. We, we have, have that assurance, that assurance, that assurance, that assurance that 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 Jesus has, has paid, paid for your, your sin. sin. When you know Adam has said, it, 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 it is, is finished. finished. He, he meant, meant it. And he proved it by coming back to life. So Jesus being alive means he's a judge, judge. Jesus being alive means he's a saviour. And then thirdly, Jesus, Jesus being raised means he offers fresh starts. Can we move back at uh, Mark chapter 16? 16. And, and verse uh, uh, 7, the angel's words. Just words. And just, just read, read it with me slowly. slowly. But that could go. go. Tell his disciples and Peter, Peter that he can be for you to Galilee. Galilee. And Peter. You remember Peter? Peter? Bloody Peter. Peter. Fantastic, Fantastic Peter. Peter. Peter, I'll never deny you, Jesus. Jesus. Peter, Peter, I'll never deny you, Jesus. Jesus. Until, Until the cock, cock crows. crows. Right, Jesus, I've never seen, seen him. him. Jesus is a man! You've got to be confused with someone else. Jesus, Jesus not, not me. And then of course, course he realised, realized, didn't, didn't he? he? And, and yet, yet here's Jesus, Jesus is making, making a point, point of, of using his, his name. name. Go, Go tell the disciples and, and Peter. Peter! There's a fresh, fresh start available, available for him. him. You see, what, what Jesus, Jesus had every right, 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 right to say was, was well, well, if Peter's going to come, come back into my presence, presence he's going to come and come fully on your knees, fully remorseful, and I only want to make a just beginning to forgive him. That's what he could have said. But he didn't, did he? He said, come back. Come back, Mr. Peter. Come and have a fresh start. Come and receive grace. Isn't that fantastic? fantastic? Isn't, Isn't that, that so gracious? gracious? Isn't, Isn't that, that so undeserving? Isn't, Isn't that, that so Jesus? Jesus, Jesus the Saviour, offers for fresh starts, not, not just for Peter, Peter, but for, for every, every single, single one, one of us. If we've, we've got, got skeletons in our closet, closet those, those sins that no one ever knows about, about. Jesus says, come, come to me, me repent, repent, and receive, receive a fresh, fresh start. start. That, that, that foul temper that, that I have, had, that, that comes, comes out when I'm tired. Confess, repent, repent. Jesus, repent. Jesus, Jesus says, says, I've died, I've died for, that. for that. Have assurance. Have assurance. Come, come back. back. Have a fresh, fresh start. start. 
Well, you have that self righteous attitude that would look down on others and think that they should say, they 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 say, a friend, a friend of mine was a uh, cancer, cancer surgeon before, before he retired. retired. And he had the unenviable task of having to tell many, many patients, patients, I'm really, really sorry, sorry. There's, there's no, no treatment, treatment that we can do, do to, to keep you alive, alive more than a few weeks. weeks. Uh, well, you, you might make you as handy as you can in your bed, bed but, but ultimately there's, there's, there's nothing for you, I'm sorry. And one patient asked my friend, can you speed this up a bit? <laughs> he said, I'm really sorry, sorry. That's, that's illegal. illegal. But he then, then said, said, are you ready, ready to go, go home? home? I said, well, 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 I don't think so. so. The kitchen is tidy. Uh, uh, the lounge and the room, 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 I think, I think so. so. I'm, I'm not sure, sure actually. actually. And, and sitting, sitting on her bed, bed he explained the gospel, gospel to, to her. her. He, said, he said, God has made, made this world. world. He's, He's made, made us under him, him to live under, under him. him. But we have said we just go our own way. way. And, and the consequence, consequence of that is judgment and death. death. But if we were really willing to come home to Jesus, Jesus God, God, our only Son, who lived a perfect life, life died a perfect death, death and rose again, again, then we can have forgiveness, forgiveness and a life. life. And wonderfully, and wonderfully she believed, she believed her own men. A few days later, she, she passed, passed away. away. But not, not before, before telling her husband that she needed to meet with this surgeon and get himself sorted out himself. And so a few days after that, the husband gave the surgeon a call and said, I don't know what it is you said to my wife, but she was a changed person in those last few days. She had peace. She had joy. And she said, I need to get myself sorted as well. Can you tell me what you told her? And of course he did, and he too became a follower of the Lord Jesus. For that lady, it was in her last few days that she received her fresh start that she received the assurance that her sin had been forgiven. We don't have to wait until then. We can do that today. And all because of three short words. What are they? Let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much that you have risen from the earth. We thank you that it gives us this great, great assurance. assurance. And we and thank, thank you that it means we can, we can have, have you as our Saviour, who gives you the fresh starts. Amen. Amen.